I could just set that, that thing down like behind right here. I can see my speedometer. Perfect. Uh, I, I just can't really quite see my oil pressure. And, <laughs> I can't see my temperature either, but I can see my fuel and my battery's voltage. I have like a dial on the left. Step down transformer, they put it through a diode, 
they get like zener diodes for uh, the lithium ion battery charging if, if that has the capability some cell phone chargers have like many different usb sockets and things many many, many choices it's limitless the options that you can get i i think that what i what i wanted to do with the sony camera takes this thing called the Type K Sony Lithium Battery, but I found a cheap knockoff from China. It's going to fit in the same in the hole to give me some power in this camera, because this camera doesn't have a CMOS sensor, it uses a CCD, and it's a little bit different than the modern day DSLR, it uses more battery. It gets bumper. It's kind of just like a, a similar to the, the types of cameras like traffic camera. And you see these cameras underneath bridges and things. And they can rotate in and they have a very low resolution typically. They're not very good at contrast. I don't know what it is about CCD and CMOS. And you see my face is fine because it's like mid mid range brightnesses but behind me there's shadows and highlights that are kind of clipped and, and they don't really seem to present quite as much detail as they would have in a CMOS a little digital camera and I think what I gotta really do Keep on using this little Sony camera as long as possible. I've got what I got was like three spare batteries for this. Gotta like cycle through them because the thing with lithium ion rechargeable batteries is when you first charge the thing up, it has to build a little layer called SEI layer. Some kind of a semiconductor or something. Uh, what this does is it just protects the battery from discharging by itself on its own. The self-discharge current is so low, if you build it up just the right way, it has to be done exactly. Oh, this, this little Sony camcorder is nice. Like, I, I can flip that, uh,
puts it in like a subset of Voldix. Kind of like a little, a little tree. Like, I, I don't know how to get a DCIM. In the setup for this camera, when you go into the menu and the settings, there is a little tab where it's like memory. Um, it says mass storage, whatever the heck that means. And I, I really don't know because like you can either set the thing to single or multi. And it says LUN, the settings for the memory, the mass storage. Who knows? It's a mystery. I really think what I gotta do is install like firmware to get on the SD card. I did it once with the Canon PowerShot. I hacked the thing. Got like a really nice custom made little, uh, it's like a software. You install it right onto the camera and get custom interface, everything. You can even play little games on it if you want. The camera has like a little computer built in. It's probably capable enough to do plenty of things that they wouldn't already have available. And you gotta go and install the thing, apparently. What? All I want to do is download my movies onto my iPhone through my SD card reader. My new SD card reader plugs right into my iPhone. It's just so convenient. It's fast. It works good with my GoPro. With a DCIM folder. Why can't I get... See, the folder says mp underscore root then it has another folder underneath that says anv underscore zero one for like animated dot mov i really don't know why why can't this camera just record in dot mp4 mpeg and it, it, it compresses the uh the video if, if, if it would do that. But this camera actually, the .mov files are uncompressed, aren't they? Mm, the pictures has it's gotta be as good as they could get it with this little thing, cause the contrast just ain't right. And so if, if the picture's as sharp as possible with the resolution, with being uncompressed and all, that's ideally what you wanted to have for recording day-to-day uh, that's all I'm trying to have this little Sony camcorder for is just like a vlog vlogging vlog I set it right down right here this is where we have it it's just sitting here it's out of the way of the speedometer I just can't see can't quite see my oil pressure or my temperature gauge <laughs> I don't know why I cannot see this, but I think, oh man, I'm starving. <laughs> what I was going to do is get, I have like a bag of grapes in my fridge, and a little leftover pork levels from the other day, uh, I, I cook more. I make the same exact thing same recipe. I'm not going to change it up. I'm going to cook and eat the same thing on a day-to-day -day basis. I never get tired of it, so like, it's nutritious. If it's healthy for you, why not just continue? It continue to go on and have as much as you want, as often as possible, every day of your life. It's better than having pizza. Hey, I was thinking, I was considering going to the Chinese restaurant today. There's a little Subway sandwich shop just down here. I'm, I'm not going to go to it though. Because I have things in the fridge and I have to cook. Might as well bake a cake while I'm at it too. But I have a bunch of bananas. I got a fresh bag of all purpose flour. And I have some granulated sugar might not have enough of it though. I might have to substitute with like honey and 
this. That would work actually. How, how much honey is equivalent to one cup of granulated sugar? Uh, I feel like it would be half a cup, right? Like, it's a, a, a liquid. So then it takes up less room. And granules. It's a mystery though. Who, who knows? They didn't teach you this stuff in high school. And I graduated with a diploma from Yorktown High School. Back when this Langston Boulevard, this was called Lee Highway a long time ago. Many, many years ago, this Langston Boulevard, it was known as Lee Highway. And I don't have one problem with that, but one thing that I really wish that, like, why do people have to be so sensitive? Like, I wish there could be more rednecks around this area. Honestly, this place is too many libs. Not lefties over here. Um, Falls Church, Virginia. It, it used to have more of like regular people, regular Americans. I'm not trying to be controversial on my channel, but like, god dang. Some of these people are, are like afraid that you're gonna get give them a disease. What's, what's up with that? <laughs> people have been getting viruses all along. I just don't quite understand why why bother getting all butt hurt over a, vi a virus? Are you kidding? <laughs> that's like that's like a really low blow. I oh, a virus. <laughs> wow, I I am just shocked. Honestly. I I never thought that. Like, like what what happened with all these masks? All this face mask. Have you seen the the uh, what's going on in in China just this week? They call it the white terror. They have people with protective gown and goggles, and they take them, um, and they, they, they terrorize them in their own homes. Uh, they, what, what do they do? They, like, they threaten people in, in China. They lock you up in your own house. That's, that'd be no fun at all. Uh, well, what what if you're in China and you just so happen to be unvaccinated? Are they gonna come for you? Like <laughs> that's some scary ass shit. Oh man, like whew, that's spooky as as a mofo. Oh man, like China. <laughs> hey, I don't have an issue with the place, but it, it just used to be like way different back in like ancient China you know that was so long ago no one even knows really what ancient China used to be like they just had journals and they, they take they take the, uh, the philosopher Lao Tzu the Chinese philosopher they write down the quotes and they just make a recorded record written they didn't take any pictures the, the artwork from, from that time, it was, it, I guess you could say it's a little dramatization, it's like, not even realistic, kind of like a fantasy, ancient China, or like, I don't know much about this stuff, see, they didn't teach you in high school, I'm, I'm pretty ignorant, that is why I am arrogant because I'm so ignorant on the topic of China, Chinese. All I know is that they, what they do is they, uh, <laughs> they got like tariffs, or Putin, Vladimir Putin, or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
Like, I listen to the FM radio 24-7, but I don't quite catch all of it, you know? I'm, I'm kind of a simple guy, <laughs> I guess. I don't know what it is about it. Like, oh, man. I guess I'll go to the CVS. Why not? I'm ready to... I need, I need like, something to sip on. The cold beverage. Since I don't drink no more. Bit like coconut water and probably I, I don't need any milk but I do need chocolate milk I have to get some I'll, I'll drink it right on the spot too chug it in the parking lot maybe you can take one home get two of them and uh, that, that's how we do it around here we, we just gotta head down to the CVS and then. Hey, I was I was planning to go there anyway. <laughs> it's a fine little spot. You get each and anything you could ever want right at the CVS. I didn't used to go to that place because I didn't support their business. I used to like small business type things. And a long time ago, I really didn't think that Amazon would re re remain on top of the pedestal of the online e-commerce, the delivery, right, right onto your porch. Each and everything you could ever want, every single thing delivered very quickly, cheap shipping, right onto your porch. <laughs> Behind the cement truck. Okay then. Uh, I was gonna go to that CVS. Uh huh. It's called the Walgreens now, but I still call it the CVS. What you think about that? Huh? Huh? You like that? Right next to the Italian store where they sell very expensive merchandise and a gourmet eatery. I, I don't go to this two and a half star, which used to be three star Chinese restaurant back here. I don't go there anymore. You know why? As soon as I walk into the place, they get all antsy and it's like, or they, they don't even come out to like greet you. They make you stand there and wait for 10 minutes. Even if the food is sitting there already cooked go there right on time to come and grab it and they don't have they, they don't have anyone there at the front desk to hand it to you so like what are you supposed to do take it like <laughs> I'm not that type of guy though like that's a sleazy thing to do Westover oh man this place sucks why am I over here damn it I should have never come here holy shit I guess I'll just go to the CVS. <laughs> get, I'm, I'm thirsty today. Might have to get a little beverage to sip on. I need coconut water. I'm just happy to be here. Uh, so we started off on like 495 northbound. I was headed out of Springfield, Virginia. Now I'm in Arlington, Virginia. And so I really don't know exactly when the recording finish up on this little Sony camcorder. Ooh, I, I like these I like these hats. Uh, I really I really really like to wear these uh, double dry polyester whatever the heck. These, these are great. Oh yeah, <laughs> I got a multicolor too. I I don't play games. This is just how I do my thing. How do you like it? I can have I can I have multiple layers to it. I'm a, I'm a very complicated person. I'm multi-layered. 